Howdy. So today we have a uh, 2010 Ford ECU on the bench here. So it has a misfire on cylinder one. It's been running bad. They changed the plugs and the coils and it's still the same. So uh, they suspect issues with the uh, PCM here, which I would have to agree it does sound like it's probably got a faulty driver. So hopefully this one is going to be pretty easy to repair. Um, these ones are kind of a pain to get into, so give me one moment and I will get that done. Alright, so I've got the PCM open here, and we can see our coil drivers are here. Um, it's a six cylinder, so we can see six here, and they all pretty much look the same. Uh, we have the same test point there off the base for each one. Uh, so we're just going to do a quick check with our uh, multimeter here and ohms. I just want to read across the base and collector and um, the base and the emitter to see what our readings are. So first I'll do the base and emitter and we have 15k ohms which is about right. Then I'm going to check across the collector. Okay, we had 400, so we're just going to kind of make sure everything is consistent. Okay, we're going on to the next one, and have about the same there. And we also have the same roughly from base to collector on that one. Here we go again, base to emitter, and this one is different. All right, so we had... 15k on these two and this one we have 1.8k so that doesn't look right let's go to these next three here check these to see what they show so we have another 15 we have another 15 and we have another 15 so this one what was it this one yeah this one this one is obviously bad all right let me check across the base and collector here See, that, that one is a lot higher, but reading across this way a lot of times is not, it's not very consistent. So unless you see something crazily different, then I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't consider, you know, calling it faulty because of that. Mainly it's checking across the base and the uh, emitter is the one that will give you the bad one, but not always. All right, so let's replace that. Oops, sorry. All right, there we go. Want to get a new one here, and we can clean this up a little bit. Just going to clean up the old solder here. And then we will put down new solder here. I'm going to go ahead and just pre tin it before I put the driver down.
clean up the old flux here. Nothing crazy, just a little bit. And I think that's going to do it. Oh man, that flux leaked out really bad there. Let me put it here so I can use it later. All right, let's go back and check it again. So we'll go through, we'll check these three because they were pretty consistent there. Okay, so now we have something wrong here because now this one, oh, I was hitting the wrong, I was hitting the wrong uh, point there. So look how close this guy is to this ground. I've, my probe had went into this hole here. See that? So we need to go here. So we have 15. Okay, we got 15. And we have 15. Okay, so that's perfect. Check these guys, 15. Was that 15? And the last one. Oh, that I'm on the wrong one. I'm sorry, guys. This one. 15. Okay. So, uh, that is probably all done. That, uh, definitely seemed like the problem. <laughs> 